Now that we have our link demo room set up, show you a few features that I've added to the standard link client to help end users. As you can see here, we have two favorites in our contact list, the other link meeting room, plus the built-in audio test service. So end users can just double click on the audio test service, click on the little call button, So we'll talk normally for a few seconds and then wait for them to respond. Here's what I've heard. So we'll talk normally for a few seconds and then wait for them to respond. If you like what you've heard, then you're all set. If not, check your audio device settings and try again. Goodbye. Now because we got rid of Explorer, the standard start button control panel are missing. So what I've gone and done is created a few extra little apps that can be accessed via the options tools or if we want to go show menu bar they can just click on tools and you'll see them listed at the bottom here we have Outlook, Word, Internet Explorer, Restart the Computer, PowerPoint, Excel, Log Off, Shutdown, Control Panel, Software Center. So if we want to make any changes we can open up the control panel there's your standard Windows control panel. Because this system is managed by System Center, we also have Software Center in there. So we can install extra apps, request extra software, and so on. So let's say we want to open up Microsoft Word. So we go into our Options Tools, click on Word. It'll open up Word. Because this is a domain account, we had to restrict what it has access to. So when you go to open other documents, there won't be any network drives, etc. It'll just be whatever's on that computer or if you use a USB drive. Okay. So we can just close that out. And Link is still running in the background. The custom apps you see shown under Tools, very easy to create. If we just go over here and take a look at my registry file, I'll provide a link in the description and in the post where you can find out how to do this. Very easy to create. Once you've created one, you just copy and paste it into another, change the random GUID value, put in your path, and then where you want it to show up. We have our log off options, our shutdown computer, control panel, software center, or any other application you want them to be able to access from the link client. As far as deploying the system goes, we've created a registry entry that runs WScript followed by the computer startup script that I've created. Here's your computer startup script shows you basically it's going to run the BG info program it's going to use the settings found in the LRS BGI and it's going to be silent no prompting then it'll start up link and then it'll kill any other programs that shouldn't be running in this case I put an extra kill explorer just in case explorer started up as you can see here we're going to start up the BG info program using the LRS BGI config Sys Internals has created this little program that will help you make your own wallpaper. Basically what I've done is filled in some text here, chosen the background file, pick the color, told it where to position it, how wide it's going to be, and then I've gone and inserted little JPEG files using the insert image command. Now let's say you can't afford to have link room system dedicated computers and you need to have this computer accessible for regular users as well. What I've done is I've added an option in here under tools you can log off the computer and based on group policy it'll merge user policies and computer policies so that a regular user can log into this computer and use it as a regular system. 
type the username and password correctly, so it's just going to log us in. Connects all the drives, etc. And because it's still the link room computer, it's going to run a link user script so that the link room still starts up. There we go. Link room is still signed in. The trick is we open up Task Manager, uh, right? And we look for link. And see here, link is actually started and running using the link room demo account. So any program that the link client opens will open it as that user account. So we'll open up Word here. If we were to open up Word from the Start menu, we'd see it as the test account that we logged into. Okay. So I can just close that out. Just close out Word here. If they didn't want the link client open, or if they basically meaning they didn't want to run the link room. They can just go out, exit here, go back into their start menu, and start link, and it would log in as their test account. So there you have a dual functioning link room system, both as the link room when it starts up, or as any other domain user when the link system is logged off. Here you can see the shell command that we're using for the current user but based on group policy preferences it's only applied to link room accounts so for anybody else using that system we have this run command that basically starts the link room user based VBE program VBE meaning it's an encrypted visual basic file so that if someone opens it this is all they see I'll provide a link for you guys to create your own encrypted Visual Basic scripts. Here's the actual script. Pretty standard stuff with the information. Pretty standard stuff. Just include your username and then your password. Just enter it in plain text here. That is why you have to encrypt it so that no one can see the password. With the plain text password, you want to limit the access that that account has. It is a local admin on that system. We do that so that the account can still function as a secondary login account, if you will, when you're running the demo room inside of a regular user account. So then we have our command. Basically it runs sysinternals ps execute, puts in the username and the password, and starts link. Now we could also add in another program in here as well if we wanted to start up Outlook, for example, automatically as that link room account. We could add a second command line in there, just change the exe, and away you go. What the kill program section does is basically kill any existing link client that's open. You can't have two link clients signed into the computer at the same time. So basically what it'll do is it'll go through, loads the sysinternals ps kill, and then kills anything that says link.exe. And then it'll start link as your demo account. 